an actual parent feels when they have a child. Do, 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 Cassidy Quinn. Hey guys, it's me, Cassidy Quinn. I have something to tell you guys, which you may have guessed from the title of this video. It's kind of a big deal, and I'm kind of freaking out about it. Okay, we're doing this. I'm just gonna say it. My cousin is having twins! So no, I am not pregnant. There are no babies coming out of this body anytime soon. I mean, eventually, but not in the next nine months. I am so, so, so freaking excited. The miracle of life twice and well, that was four times. Anyway, when you go to somebody's baby shower, you usually bring them something nice or at least something adorable. So I thought it is the perfect time for an arts and cast. She's making a mess with lots of sass. It's crafting time with arts and cast. Yeah. Oh, I'm not a man. I bought some little tiny onesies. Ah, they're just so tiny. This is four of them. I mean, when is the last time you wore anything besides underwear that could fit four of them in this small packaging? Probably when you were 12 months old, because that's what these are designed for. But these are a little boring. Oh, don't do that to a real baby. Oh, excuse me, I burped. Babies burp. Uh, I mean, oh, okay, why are you taped together? It's like as big as my head and it's for a human. I am just getting overwhelmed by adorable little tiny things and we need to get this done. For some reason I thought this would be a good idea to do in my carpeted apartment. Tie-dye. I don't think I have tie-dyed anything in the last five years, this could get interesting. And by interesting, I mean messy. Really messy. Why am I doing this? Instructions are always key. They literally are the key. Bazinga! What the heck do we do first? Add water to dye bottle. This thing looks like a little mustard container. Shake until the dye is dissolved. And cross your fingers that it doesn't spill. I feel like my fingers are already turning different colors. And now for the part that actually requires some creativity. I'm gonna start with a simple, or I don't know if it will be simple, spiral. This is the one you do a lot when you're a kid and your parents probably help you with it. So as an adult, we'll see if I can handle it. We're gonna pinch and then you just kinda spiral. Oops, there's a glove stuck in there. Spiral everything around it. Now, since this is a tiny baby onesie, this is uh, kind of hard to even make it go very far. Is this even gonna work? So now we take our rubber bands. Oh, we place one straight across, another one diagonal. Get yourself together. Now comes the scary part. Fun fact, there is going to be a girl twin and a boy twin, so we can do one girly one, one boyish one, even though gender norms who cares about them? But still, we're gonna start with pink because I, oh God, I forgot my rubber gloves. So this is when you put them on. This is gonna get everywhere. We spray little wedges. There's no turning back at this point. This looks so permanent. Tie dye is not about being symmetrical. We're putting the lid back on the pink one. Get out of my face. Probably should have put my hair up before I started this process, but it's too late to go back. No regrets. Oh my goodness, this is a dark color. But it will look beautiful next to the pink. Oh, you should woo, you should woo. Why am I talking like I'm talking to a baby? This baby is gonna be in a band. Did you know that? Yeah, a rubber band. <laughs> The blue is getting out of control. It's getting on the other colors. I feel like I'm performing surgery or something. Like this feels very medical. I also feel very out of control. But that's what tie is supposed to be like, right? <laughs> I hope so. We're just gonna mush them all together. Cause you know, that's what making babies is all about. You mush some things together and you hope they come out looking beautiful. If not, you still accept them. That's what this is going to represent. This is like oddly therapeutic. Okay, it looks like something. This is what it is. So now you have to let this sit for a really freaking long time. Not as long as you let a baby sit though. Not nine months, just like nine hours. Oh my God, my feet are asleep. Oh, wow. Now for the second one, I'm going to try to create some stripes. So what you're supposed to do is make some kind of accordion shape. And I think this is what an accordion looks like. Babies don't 
don't even know what accordions are. We take some more rubber bands, we make little chunks. This represents that if your baby is chunky, that's okay too. Chunky babies are even cuter than skinnier babies. Okay, so we've got our weird shaped looking tube thing. Ah! I've been sitting on my feet for so long. I can no longer feel them. Ah! Seventh inning stretch. Here we go. Again, I forgot my gloves. I really didn't mean to do that. Okay, now we remove the cap and die away. Don't die, but tie dye. This blue is so beautiful and vibrant. Next, some black, which is really scary because this is real dark. Oh, black just went onto the end, so I guess we're doing black on the ends. Put you away because if you spill, oh, now, whew, get out of my face, hair. Next, I'm gonna do some green. Oh, wow. For some reason, what it is making me think of is when you get a green snow cone and they're squirting all the snow cone syrup. So part of me wants to just be like, Ugh, make a snow cone. I'm just counting on this looking good eventually. Or at least looking good enough for a baby to wear, which those standards can't be that high. The wheels on the tie dye go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the tie dye go round and round, all through the rubber band. Ah, uh, got an itch on my nose. I feel like it just looks like a caterpillar. So, I'm gonna leave our two little masterpieces right here and hope tomorrow, when I finish them, they look beautiful. I will love you too, no matter what. I'm really impatient and uh, this is gonna be a long process. Once we've let our little onesies sit for at least six to eight hours, I just let it sit overnight because I wanted to sleep. I put them in the sink, which is white, so this could turn out badly, but we're gonna rinse off the clothes until the water runs clear, which supposedly will happen eventually. Then we get to take off the rubber bands and see how they turned out. Oh, this is the scary part because you could have just ruined these onesies that used to be adorable. Then to make this process even longer, we have to put the onesies into the washing machine and wash and dry them for a full cycle. Great. Drum roll, please. I created these things. This must be how an actual parent feels when they have a child. I love you, I love you, you're very different, but you're both beautiful and unique in your own special way. Now, I did get a bunch of other random craft supplies at the store. I also have two more just plain white onesies that I have no idea what I'm going to do with yet. I kinda wanna put hashtags on them. We're just gonna be done, and if I decide to do something later, then I'll put it on Instagram. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. Thumbs up if you like cute babies. Who doesn't like cute babies? Everybody gives a thumbs up. Everybody gets a baby. No, you don't. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Arts and Cats, and I'll see you guys next week. Oh, that's annoying. Bye. Let me know what else I should tie-dye in the comments below because I still have a bunch of tie-dye left. I'm like honestly considering whether I have anything else that I want to tie-dye. Like two feet away from me, there is a white towel. Do you tie-dye towels? No, you don't. Stop, be an adult. <laughs> Whatever. Peekaboo! <gasps> Peekaboo! I'm a child.